Hello there and welcome to this series of videos on the Python programming language and in this specific video looking at the pandas package. Now what is pandas? It's basically a software library that's written for the Python programming language that specifically looks at data science and also data analysis. There's also a little bit of machine learning things you can do with pandas as well but for specifically for us on our T level and things like that we're looking at how to manipulate data that that makes data be better understood by humans because we're not very good at looking at data and then interpreting things from it. So we're gonna sort that out and make it look a bit prettier. And by the end of this series of videos, you'll combine that with things like graphs and uh, matplotlib and things like that. And you'll be able to produce some impressive uh, data science. So let's get started then. The first thing to do with pandas is to import the package. So I'm gonna first type in import pandas as pd and you should see there it turns purple if you've got the package installed now you can see on the right hand side here in my packages you'll see down I've got pandas in the p section which is yeah it needs updating actually but there we go now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to import, or I'm going to create, sorry, a data frame. And a data frame is the structure that we use in pandas. And I want you to think of a data frame like it is a spreadsheet. So you've got rows and you've got columns. So all I'm going to do is just going to plug in all this data. I'm doing this manually at the moment, but as we progress through this video series, people, we are going to import vast amounts of data so we can I can show you how Python analyzes it really quickly. So I type my data in here um, and it works exactly the same way as a dictionary because it is one. I'll put Kevin in there and I'll let's put Matt in there as well. So I've got a name which is my key and my values in a list is John, Kevin and Matt. Then after that I'll put a comma I'll make my next one. Let's do the ages of these people. Square brackets. And because it's a dictionary, it can have multiple data types in it. So 30, 31, and 62 in there. Put a comma in, down to subjects. Let's put some subjects in here. Let's do keep the capitals with everybody else. Subject is going to be, let's have a look. So I teach computer science. Let's say Matt teaches IT, and let's say Kevin teaches T levels. T level. All right. Now I've created, I've created my data frame. I passed it pandas or PD data frame. This shows me it's a class of pandas. Pandas relates to this PD here. And let's just output all the data and have a look what it looks like. So you print DF and you run this. And you can see there that it's tabular and you've got rows and you've got columns. So you've got name, age and subject column. So columns in uh, pandas are called series and on the left hand side here you've got an index as well. So John will start at zero, Kevin's at one, and Matt's at two. So that means it's a zero-based index. Excellent, so far so good. So we know the data has been stored in a data frame. Now, if I wanted to just output one specific series or column, then all I need to do is, I'll put a print statement again, I'll say DF, and using square brackets, I'll just put the key of the data. So let's have a look at the name then, the name. I'll run this now and see what happens. I just want one specific series, one column, and you'll see here, this is my second import. I've got John, Kevin, and Matt. Again, it's got an index, but this time it has no heading of the series, so there's no name like it was before. So it just outputs the data of that series. Excellent. Now, for this little intro, there's a few more things you can do as well. How about, you? what if you wanted to create uh, a standalone series, just a series or a column on its own. All we need to do is assign it a variable. Let's do days worked. 
and we're just going to put PD dot series. Now you need a capital S for this because it's a class. It's a class of the pandas package and I use square brackets again because it's a dictionary and I'm going to put uh, how many days did I work. So um, days worked, I work five days a week. I don't need speech maths because it is an integer. Matt, let's say Matt worked four days and Kevin just works one day because he's part time. After I've done that, comma, name equals days worked. Happy days. Now in order to just prove that this has worked, I'm just going to print this out. So print days worked. And you can see here, days worked, five, four, and one, that's correct. So I've created a standalone series there. And there's a few extra things that you can do just to finish off this video. Let's say we wanted to display the max value. So this is where the data science comes in. And we'd say print DF, which column would you like? Um, let's do the age column and tell me the maximum age from that column please. I'll run this and you can see there that it's 62. So if you look there 30, 31 and 62 so this is the age series 62 is the maximum value and that's Kevin. After that there's some interesting statistics you can get from this as well. And these all come preloaded with pandas. So let's print df. Describe. So we use the describe method. Let's see what this does. And you can see at the bottom there, df describe. Now it uses the only numerical series that it's got, which is age. It can't do a math. It can't do a, a statistical analysis on the name or the subject series so it says here count mean standard deviation min 25 50 75 percent max is there as well and that's it for our first video of pandas just a little easing and a little intro into the pandas package join me in the next video where we get a little bit more advanced